We're launching a brand new feature today for Kiramase called Child Models, and I'm really excited to show you how it works. So let's create a new Next app. Uh, we're going to call this Twitter Demo. We're going to say yes to everything. We're using App Router, Tailwind CSS, um, and TypeScript. If we clear this, uh, we're going to jump into that new directory, Twitter Demo, and then I'm going to run Kiramase in it. Uh, we're going to use ShatCN UI for our component library, Drizzle, uh, Postgres.js, Postgres.js for our driver, uh, Lucia for our authentication, and no extra packages for the time being. Amazing. So that's all scaffolded up. Uh, let's, first things first, create a new local database. So we're going to say create database. Um, let's call this Twitter demo as well. Uh, exit out of there, and then jump into the editor, head into our M file, uh, and then we are going to update the database URL to be Twitter demo. Great. Let's quit out of there. And now we can run our first Kiramase Generate. Um, so what I want to build today, like last time, I would like an application that helps me track the books that I'm reading. Um, but this time, I'd like to also add quotes from the books that I like, as well as maybe some reflections or thoughts on those books as I'm reading them. So we're going to generate the model, the controller, and the view. Uh, we're going to use server actions today. Uh, this feature is only available with server actions and optimistic UI for the time being. Uh, so we're going to define our first model. This is going to be called authors. Every author is going to have a name, uh, which is required. Uh, no other fields for the author, no index. I do want timestamps. This model belongs to the user. Um, now you can see the new feature. Uh, would you like to add a child model? Yes, I would. Uh, we're going to call this books. Every book is going to have a title, uh, which is required. And I do want to add another field here, uh, called a Boolean called completed. Uh, this is just going to track my uh, books that are I'm currently reading and those that I've already finished. Uh, this is required. No other field for the time being, no index. Uh, I do want timestamps. This is going to belong to the user. Now I want to add a child model here. Um, our first child model is going to be quotes. Uh, every quote is going to have a content field, uh, which is required. No other fields, no index. I do want timestamps, uh, and it does belong to the user. Uh, do I want to add another child model? No, not to quotes, but I do want to add another one to books, and this is going to be called reflections. Uh, every reflection is going to have content as well. Uh, this is required. Do I want to add another field? No, no index. I do want timestamps. I do want it to belong to the user. Now, no child model for reflections. No more child models for books. No child models for authors. I do want to add the authors to the sidebar. And maybe let's add uh, books to the sidebar as well. But I don't think I need quotes on the sidebar. I don't need reflections on the sidebar. Great. So that's a lot. Let's uh, follow the instructions. It says run bun db generate. Uh, you can see our new tables there. And let's run bun db migrate. Great. So first things first, let's just run the dev server and see if it works, right? <laughs> it's a lot that that was going on. Uh, so localhost 3000, as you can see here. Uh, head to the sign up page, the brand new app. If we make a new username, actually, I'll make it Nico. Uh, password test 123. You can see we've got our new entities on the side. Let's start with authors. Jump in here. Let's add our first author. It's going to be called Tony Fidel, as per usual. Let's head to Tony's page. If I click it properly, there we go. So now we've got Tony's page. Uh, every author now has their own page. You can see it on, on your URL. Uh, we can now add books as well. So let's add our first book. As per usual, we're going to add build. Um, if we head into builds page, you can see this is, again, a nested row. Uh, we can update. We're using optimistic UI here. So everything is super snappy. Uh, if I were to delete, it also takes me right back to Tony Fidel. Uh, so let's create that again. Say we finished it and then create it. Let's head to Tony's page. And now you can see, again, we've got another nested model. So our book is going to have many quotes. This is a much better user interface. It's also something your users would expect, that they're not tagging every new quote to an author. You just do it within, or to a book. You just do it within the books page. So first quote, and then we can head in there. And the awesome thing is, all of this data is available to you on this first quote page within uh, at this uh, URL, this route as well. Um, so super fast, again, with full optimistic UI working right out the box. Um, so as a reminder, like <laughs> it's a lot that just happened here. If we head back to um, to the app, we can even run uh, build, and you can see that the entire application is done with no errors in in the types. Uh, the beauty of this here is that Kiramase is just doing code generation. There are no libraries. There's no abstractions. This is pure, in this case, React code uh, with Zod, Drizzle, um, and Lucia for authentication. So it means that you have great code without a ton of dependencies, uh, fully typed. Uh, the Zod validators are already done for you. I mean, you can see all of these routes that are already done for you. Um, 
So I mean, <laughs> building what we just built in, in one command probably would have taken a full day, if that, not to mention we've done it with error handling out of the box with with API routes, with, with server actions, with optimistic UI. I mean, it is incredible what you can build so quickly. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about this. I, I, it's, it really is. It's remarkable what you can do with this. And I really want to see what you can build with this. Um, so have a play around and uh, show me what you build. Thanks so much.